Hello everyone. So today I will be uh, giving you the summary of chapter number 9 of the NCRT book Footprints Without Feet. The name of the chapter is Bholi written by K. A. Abbas. Bholi's real name was Sulekha. But she was called Bholi. She was a backward child. She was a fourth daughter of Ramlan who had seven children. Bholi remained a backward child due to an injury in her head when she was 10 months old. She was fair and pretty at birth, but when she was two years old, she had an attack of smallpox which left deep mark, black marks all over her body. She started speaking only when she turned five, but she stammered when she spoke. And as a result, she was always mimicked or made fun of by the other children. Therefore, Bholi talked very little. Unlike Ramla's other children, she was not healthy and strong. She was frightened at first when her father wanted to take her to school. But when she was bathed and given new clothes to wear, she began to believe that she was being taken to a place better than her home. Bholi did not know what exactly a school was and what happened there. But when she saw girls like her present there, she was happy. She hoped that one of those girls would become her friend. In the class, when a teacher asked her name, she tried to say, but the girl started laughing when she stammered. Everyone made fun of her. However, her life changed when she started going to school. A kind-hearted teacher encouraged her and she overcame her problem of stammering. Later on, with the education she had acquired and with little the confidence she had to face the society, she refused to marry in exchange for dowry. She said that she would not marry a greedy person. On the contrary, she decided to serve her parents in their old age and teach in the same school that had transformed her life. The major theme of the story Boli is the impact of family on children. Boli is a little girl who fails to develop self-confidence because of her parents' attitude towards her. The story hints at why family support and emotional security are essential for proper child development. Also, disabled children must be given encouragement, love and education like their normal counterparts. Thank you.